another day of vlog. If you're new, then a very big hello. My name is Louise. I'm 26 years old and I still wear pigtails. <laughs> no, I've just come out of the bath now and um, we're going away for the evening, which I'll explain in just a second. And my hair's still wet, so I'm just gonna put it in plaits so then when I take it out tomorrow, it'll be nice and wavy. I don't normally wear pigtails like this. But uh, today is, what date is it today? It's the 20th of February, just 20 past four, and Jake finishes work at seven, and we're going away tonight. We're going to Bradford, I want to say. Let me just double check. I get Brantford, Bradford, everything literally messed up. Brantford, we're going to Brantford, because our ELTS test is in Brantford, and that is tomorrow at 1.55. So if you do not know, if you didn't watch last week's vlog, the weather is really bad at the minute. The snow is literally crazy. Every car is literally like in the snow. We didn't want to be stressed tomorrow morning before our exam to get dig the car out and stuff like that. So we just said, why don't we book a hotel? We can revise when we get there, um, do some last minute revision, have a lie in, ask for a late checkout and just literally be ready for the day. So that's what we're doing. We booked a Hilton, I think it is. Let me just double check. Yes. No, we didn't. We built a Hampton Inn and Suites, which he actually stayed in this brand in Florida, and we really liked it. In total, it was for one night, I think it was $78, which is really, really good. Um, so yeah, $78 for the night, stress-free, because we don't have to worry for anything the next day. We've got a late checkout for completely free. We just asked if we could pay extra, and they said they've just extended it. So instead of checkout at 10 a.m., our check it, checkout is at 12 noon. Our exam's at 1.55, so that gives us like an hour and 55 minutes to find the place, get a coffee, etc., etc. Two and a half hours to like tidy the house because uh, I like leaving the house nice and tidy and then coming back to a nice clean home and to pack as well. Obviously I don't need to pack too much. I would really don't want to wear to an outs test because I don't want to look scruffy so I might wear jeans and a nice jumper or something but I'm in here and I'm going to pack. Um, we were just in the wardrobe at the second second because I need to put away some clothes and stuff. I'm currently just watching Adam Hatton's California vlog. I can't stop watching Disney vlogs. Like, I am literally living through these Disney vlogs right now. This is the only thing that's keeping me positive and keeping me sane. In the front room, I've got Brogan Tate's um, Disney vlogs, the Florida ones, and then in here, I've got Adam Hatton's. So every time I tidy in the front room, I press play for that. And when I tidy in here, I press play to that, so I'm watching two at once, basically. But anyway, yeah, I think I'm going to take my new uh, Calvin Klein bag with me. If you didn't watch last week's video then uh, you won't know but I've got this for 99 because of my points and I think I'm just going to take this because it's absolutely huge I don't need too much so I'm just going to take this and yeah I think that's what we're going to do so I'm just going to tidy I'll catch up with you once I start packing um and I've also made an iced coffee so I need to go get that but yeah I'll come back to you in just a second okay so i'm all ready i've got a new hat on these are all six dollars we've literally got it in every single team i just like this green color so anyway i'm all packed i've got two bags um i'm just going to turn down the heat in to 21 because we're going to be gone for a few days well for one day i also need to pack my notebook and pen for when we revise tonight I'm just waiting for Jake to finish work. He should have finished 10 minutes ago, so he should be on his way home now. Um, I don't think there's anything in there that I need. <sighs> I'm nervous, because as soon as we leave the house and go on our way, that means the next time we come back, we would have already done our outs test. So I hope he arrives soon, just because I want to get on the road to start revising when we get there. We should be there about nine. It doesn't matter if we have too much of a late night, just because we are revising, or just because we are having a lie-in. Oh, three missed calls. Oops, right, I better go, because Jake's called me like six times. Bye. So I'm just with Jake. He's just finished Sorry. work, not changed. And, um, oh, it's super cold. I was gonna turn this down a second. Sorry, it's really dark, but it is currently half past seven. 
we get to the hotel about it'll probably be about quarter to nine do you reckon latest nine it's an hour to get there I'm just gonna turn this on but jake we want to just get a coffee because obviously he's doing the driving because the weather conditions i am not driving in the snow so we're just gonna pop and get um, a coffee because it doesn't really matter if we're awake tonight because we've got the room until 12 tomorrow so we're on the road we will keep you updated as we go like i said it's only an hour away and our hotel is the hilton no yeah the hilton suites or something oh actually no i don't know but anyway i'm gonna go <laughs> find out tomorrow when we get the um anyway so we've just checked in just got our key our room is on the fifth floor it's super posh and down the stairs <laughs> What number are we? Oh, uh, I've got to tell you breakfast from 6 a.m. to 10, but it's to go. Oh, oh we've got a little tractor. It knows you so well. It knows me well. Okay. Oh, it's big. Oh, I like this mirror. Hello. <laughs> the, the two double beds. This is very like American, don't you think? You always get two beds in a bedroom like this. Well, but like in Florida, it's exactly the same. Like in the UK, you wouldn't get this. I've got my coffee machine. Oh, Jake's happy. Coffee machine. Loves it. Oh, it's not one of the ones that you like though. Oh. Is it? Where you put the beans in. And... Yeah. Oh, it is. Yeah. Nice. Have we got a good view? Uh, I can see the car. That's had snow here but nowhere near as much as back in our place we've got a microwave oh an ironing board and an iron let's have a look at the bathroom oh sorry just turned the light off oh look at that that's very cute hair dryer this bathroom is huge. I had a bath before I left because I do normally like taking a bath in hotels, but I had one before I go. Right, I'll be back because I need a wee, so I'm going to go. <laughs> and Jake needs a wee. Oh no, you've just been, haven't you? Yeah. Okay, let's do, the let's do the bed test. Test. Oh, that's very disappointing. Let me do it. One, two, three. <laughs> that was very dangerous. Oh, it's comfy. I know. <laughs> for $78 that was cheap wasn't it mm -hmm. in total it was 141 but I think it's because you have to put a deposit down I thought it was going to be a $200 deposit but it looks like it was only a $50 deposit but once I find all that out I'll let you know but I'm gonna go for a week and I'll come back to you okay so you've just got back with Popeyes and we got an absolute feast it was gonna close so they gave us large of everything <laughs> so this is a large mashed mash potato I got a coleslaw, I got a chicken burger. This is Jake's last fries. Jake also got a burger. And then in here, he got some chicken. And then this is the best sauce by far. And we're eating on the bed that we're not sleeping on. So this is our this is our little feast. We're gonna watch some TV. And then we're just gonna chill for the evening and I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. It is currently 20 to nine. I woke up at 7.30, uh, Jake was up a little bit earlier than me. Um, last night, the bed was amazing. I slept so well. I always do in hotels. They have the best mattresses and pillows. Um, we did have to call down to reception about 12.30, I think it was, because from 10 a.m. right through till mid, no, so 10 p.m. right through till midnight, the room across the way from us sounds like they've got like six kids in there. They're all running around and screaming. And I'd understand if it was like a holiday park or something, I would have understood. But we were literally in the middle of nowhere, just around factories. And I don't think we were the only people that complained. Like, I think this is like a working man's hotel where like people have obviously got to go to work tomorrow. And I think where a lot of people complained because when we rang down, they were saying they were already on their way to sort it. So yeah, we eventually went to bed about 12.30, 1ish. Jake went to bed slightly earlier than me. I just keep revising and I am getting better. Um, so we got up at 7.30, we both sat down and did some revision by ourselves with our headphones in and Jake had a coffee from the coffee machine and I've just asked him to go get the breakfast from downstairs. It is normally all you can eat breakfast, but obviously with the current situation, they just hand it to you over um, 
in reception like they do in Blue Mountain. So we never know, there might not be anything in there for us, but it's always worth to get it and just see what it is and I'll show you guys what it is. When he gets up, we're gonna watch a YouTube video by E2 um, and then just chill for the rest of the morning. Like I said, we'd have to be out till midday, which is really nice. Like Jake might even have a little another snooze for half an hour because he was up so early. But yeah, we're just taking it really slow. This bed is super comfy. I love the blanket. So I'm just catching up on some YouTube. I'll come back to you when Jake comes back with the breakfast. Okay, so. Boiled eggs. Ew. We love boiled eggs. I know. <laughs> I don't know why I said ew. Okay, so this is our breakfast. Okay. What do we have in here? So some cutlery. A bagel. A blueberry muffin. A cherry yogurt. Boiled eggs. Philadelphia. That's quite cute actually. And then Jake got me a coffee as well. Just gonna chill, eat breakfast, watch some YouTube. Okay, so it is 10 to 12, so we are leaving. I just wanted to show you the view outside the window because it was dark last night. But look how gorgeous and big this window is. I absolutely love it. It brings in so much light and it's so bright outside because of the snow. But we've done lots of revising this morning. We're now gonna get some breakfast. Yeah? yeah, from either Mackey's, Tim's, or a and And we've got an hour to just sit in the car, do some more revision, and then go to the test centre. But we'll keep you updated with where we go for breakfast. But overall, this day, I would highly recommend this hotel if you've got your outs test in the area. Um, we slept very well, but anyway, we're going. Let's go. Just come out and it's so cold in Bradford. It's like minus something degrees. It's so cold. Um, so it was four hours. It was super long. I'm gonna do like a top tips video because there's definitely some tips I'd like to share with you guys. Not necessarily about the revision process, but like the whole process in general. Like this gentleman by the side of me was waiting two hours before me and we didn't wait. So there's just a few tips of the whole process section which I'll make a completely different video on. But overall, I think my speaking went amazing, which I was more, most scared about because I do stumble across my words a lot. So my speaking, I felt like went really well. Reading, I don't think went very well. Listening, don't think, but my writing, I think I did really, really well in that. Jake, how do you think you went? Well, I don't know, probably not very good. This is the thing, so, with the speaking, it is so on what topic you get. I got my favorite sport, what I what my favorite sport is, what my like biggest achievement out of sport is, and am I competitive? Now, I could talk about that for England. I can talk about dancing, I can talk about all my career. Jake got... <laughs> That's about frigging science. I don't care about science. I've got no interest in science in any way, shape or form. So here's just all that science, like what science stuff do you know? Now, we know they're not asking you the question as in like you need to know that the right answer there's no right answer like jake doesn't need to answer it in all this science talk yeah i didn't he talked about covid though i wouldn't have even thought of that i am so glad they didn't ask me about science because i would have just froze so it really does rely on what topic you get but anyway but anyway we're going to be driving on our way home now we're just going to stop off at mcdonald's just to get a little snack for the road because we've been in there for four hours it was crazy and we're on our way home which is good and then i'll check into you when i get home oh i just look glorious don't i so i was about to just finish off this clip here and say thank you so much for watching um hopefully i'll have the results to tell you in next week's vlog um and i want to do a whole video on if it was stressful blah 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 blah, blah. Um, I want to do a whole story time, I think, for the outs test. So if you want that, make sure you like this video. Um, but I was just about to cut off the video, and I had a very, very exciting delivery come. So I have got this very, very kindly gifted to me, which is just so crazy to say. This is like my first 
gifted item. So I wanted to share it with you guys. And oh my God, I am so excited. Um, so it's from the brand Elias Skin. Now I have heard of these before. I have seen them all over Instagram. I have had a little nosy in there. I was so excited I had to open it. Um, but I just wanna show you, I haven't opened up anything in here. But when you open it up, it looks like this. And oh my God, it's just beautiful. Like so, so beautiful. Now I have heard of Elias Skin before because of this item here, which they've kindly gifted to me. And it is their very famous detox and brightening clay mask. Now, I have seen people rave about this all over. Like, I watch YouTube and I've seen it on Instagram as well. And everyone raves about this. Now, this is an Australian brand. And I've always wanted to, like, try a clay mask before. So, I was actually thinking about purchasing this. Such a lovely company. They sent me out one to try. So, this is what I'm most excited to try out of all of the products here. But I'll just show you what else they gave us. So, they gave us a little pink, like, Keenan flannel um, to take the clay mask off with, which is super cute. They gave me a, a moisturiser. Sorry, this is the first time I'm reading it out with you guys. So, Bear with me, I'm just looking at all myself. So this is the Australian Berries um, Moisturiser. This pro product is recommended for the use after your clay mask. So after you use this, you're supposed to use this. Can I just say, how cute is this packaging? Like, it's like a matte pink. And this is so cute. Thank you so, so much. Then I also got the facial scrub, which is the same packaging. And this says, um, dampen skin, apply product to forehead, cheeks, nose, and chin. Scrub gently in motions, wash away with warm water. Then the next thing I've got is this foaming, um, this foaming cleanser. And it's with watermelon seeds and rose oil. Oh wow, this looks beautiful. I love skincare. If you know me, I always love skincare. It gets rid of excess dirt, oil, and makeup from the skin, which is... I need that this morning. I've still got makeup on from the weekend. And look how cute this bottle is as well. It's like see-through with a little pink lid. Oh, I'm obsessed with all this ready. And then the last bit is this vitamin C serum. I love serum. Oh my God. Um, if you don't know, my skin is super dry. So I always use some sort of serum to like put some more moisture back on it. And it says exactly this on the back. It says to dull dry skin and appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. Say hello to soft, smooth, and subtle. And it says, direction, apply one to two pumps, pent skin, morning and night. And then this is the cutest little bottle as well. It's like a little matte pink again with the brand on it. How cute this is. Oh my God. I am so grateful right now. Like, honestly, this is amazing. So thank you so, so, so much to Elias Skin for gifting me all these products. I'm definitely going to be trying them out today because I'm super excited. If you would like me to do a review on the clay mask, because I know it's super, super popular online, I'm going to give you my honest opinion. And um, then please like the video and leave it down in the comments. Maybe I can put that into next week's vlog because I definitely want to see what all the hype is about with this game, uh, with this clay mask. So yeah, leave a little comment if you think I should do that. But I'm just going to end the video here because I'm excited. I just want to go try all this stuff now. Thank you so much for watching this week, guys. And thank you to everyone that private messaged me wishing me good luck for my out test for me and Jake. It really, really means the world to me, honestly. And also the IEC pool is opening on March and I've had so many people message me asking for like tips and things. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave down below what I think the top three videos are on my channel for getting started with the IEC, like the process. So if you're looking to do the IEC visa for Canada, then I'm gonna link the top three that you should start with. Cause I know I have so many on my channel, but a lot of it is information is once you've landed. Um, so I'll link the top three about how to get the visa, how much it costs, etc., etc. And I hope it's helpful for you guys. But if you're new here, I would love you to hit subscribe. If you enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up and I will see you on Wednesday for a thrift store haul.